able to attract and retain them in entrepreneurship. We have worked with more than 700 women over the past years. And one thing you realize is that there are a couple of them who, I mean, come in with a lot of zeal and passion and along the line, their businesses collapse. I mean, there's actually a statistics that show that in the first three years of every startup, they are likely to fail. And you look at some of the reasons and this is because they don't have the right environment and there are no incentives that are attracting them and then retaining them in entrepreneurship. Now, what are some of these things you are talking about? Somebody starts up a business and then the next thing the person has to do would be maybe to register their business. And some of these young entrepreneurs would have to go through a lot just to get some of these regulatory bodies to help them in their certifications. We have a couple of young women who have great products that are doing well out there, but they are unable to scale. Why? Because they do not have the right certifications. And some of them, it takes them years before they are able to get their product certified. And so if they are not certified, you can't scale. Even in Ghana, not to talk about exports. And so this is some of the things that is really Sorry, limits is it just, them. Is it just for women? Or cuts across for both yeah. men and so, women. So this this particular reason actually cuts across. The other thing uh, maybe I will talk about is also the fact that these women are really not being um, they are not given the kind of um, let me just use the word Anna, and then we are not putting them in the right position. As you said, most people find women to be weak, and so even when they are into business and then they are a bit confident or they are really confident they are outspoken we feel that they are so proud they are they are just there to um, fight their fellow men and then they are really not there <coughs> people want them to actually calm down and then try and fit into spaces that people have created for them but then we, we find some women who are ready to create their own spaces and work in them and so because of the way we see these women people try to block their chances and then prevent them from assessing some opportunities so you see women in the workspace who deserve a particular amount of salary but then just because they are women seeing that they are weak they feel that maybe a man in that position could have done better but then at this point in time we are looking at skills and competence so that aspect deters women from actually going all out because they know that no matter what height i get to somebody somewhere will tell me that if i don't sleep with him or if I don't give myself to him, then I would not win that contract. And so these are some of the things that deter women from going all out. And it's something that is not attractive. See what I said before, the build dominated mm. environment? Yes. But, <laughs> <laughs> but have, have, having said this, how about the home? Mm. Would you say that the 